How's it going, my friends? This is Ionicus, and today I'm doing a G.I. Joe Classified Tiger Force for Condo. Uh, I got him a week ago. A week ago? Yeah, a week ago. Uh, finally got around to reviewing him. Uh, you can see, you see the figure in the front. Tiger Force, G.I. Joe, Rakondo artwork, which is great. More artwork on the side. Whatever the fuck this is supposed to be. His name's there. 55. His number. And all this in my back. Number on the front top. Uh, honestly, from the original line, I had no connection to the character of Rakondo. Uh, but he still looks like a cool figure, and it's going to be a lot of fun opening him up. This is the Tiger Force version, so we know down the line we'll, we'll be getting a standard, regular version of Rakondo. And his vintage colors. Just like some of the other Tiger Force figures. Uh, Tiger Force Bazooka, we know we're going to get a regular version of him. Uh... Well, do we have any other Tiger Force figures? I don't know. Uh... I'm drawing a complete blank here. Uh, really can't wait to get him out of the box. So let's go ahead and hop to it. And welcome to Ionica's Toy Reviews. And here we have Ricondo out of the package. And he looks really good. He got the dark shirt. The... The holster and the straps on his chest, you got the belt, compass slash watch, uh, the wrist, that kick-ass mustache, and there he says he's got a mullet, he's got long hair, just not long enough to be pulled back into a tail, grizzled look on his face, a great head sculpt, got the green camo pants, the sheath for the knife, Got the detailed pockets on the side, the boots, the details all around. Honestly, I have not ha opened and reviewed any classified figures that I have not liked so far. And yeah, a lot of people don't like the Snake Eyes movie ones, but that's another story. But this is just another, another case of Hasbro knocking it out of the park. With these uh, classified figures, now, articulation wise, his head can rotate 360. It does have that new neck joint in there, looking up and down. Arms can go 360, swivel in the upper bicep. Thank you for Javi the Hong for making that sound inappropriate and disturbing. Double jointed elbow, pinless arms and hands can go all the way around do all kinds of stuff rocker in the waist and chest it's got that drop down effect in the upper thighs and kick up that far kick back that far and swivel again in the upper thigh pinless knee joints and unfortunately mine are very stiff very tight i'm not gonna force it i don't like doing that i don't even like boiling my figures to make them the softest so they can bend if they can't do it naturally i'm not fucking with them that's just my personal opinion there's a boot cut and the feet go all over the place but all around Great figure, great sculpt. A 
accessory wise. Let's see, I'm gonna start off with his machete knife thingy. Now, this is a knife. Go to YouTube and watch the Crocodile Dundee clip. That's not a knife. This is a knife. That's why you don't mess with an Australian with a knife. Um, little handgun. I don't know guns for shit, so. I don't know what that's, I don't know what is that is supposed to be, but it's a nice little handgun. Great detail on them. That goes in the holster right here. Now, there's a backpack. Uh, blanket roll. All the pockets and straps, the canteen on there. Nice detail on the backpack. I just wish there was storage on there for the rifle. But it is what it is, and it just we got the peg right there, plugs into that hole. Just like you, all the other classified figures that come with backpacks. Goes with his hat. And he goes with a gun. The rifle, which again, I don't know guns very well, so if somebody can tell me what type of gun this is supposed to be. I appreciate it. Got the straps on here. This is molded nicely. Now, I was saying I have no connection to Rikondo. It's not a character I remember from the cartoon or the comics. And I didn't have any of the three versions of him. The original version or the Tiger Force version. like that now, I'm going to sit in the intro in the original during the quarter figure there was three different variations of condo but not here but we are going to get the standard non Tiger Force for condo at a later date now, this Tiger Force version even if it was going to be designated as Tiger Force this is a great version it's great paint apps Great accessories. Playability is great. Wish the knees weren't so tight. It is what it is. And, uh, you can definitely check out my Instagram channel for photos of this figure. And others. I like toy reviews. Oops. Now let me switch this over so I can give my final thoughts. So Tiger Force Rikondo is a really good figure. I was saying good paint apps, good face sculpt, good accessories, good articulation. I have a little problem with the knees, but I mean, that's mostly my thing because I'm not going to. Take a hair dryer to my figures. I'm not going to put them in a baggie and boil them. To loosen the joints. That's fine. Uh, so in that case, 9 out of 10. If you find him in the stores, he just was released a couple weeks ago. Two weeks ago? About two weeks ago. So you should be able to find him relatively easy by now. Because... The availability of G.I. Joe Classified is kind of going up. I mean, Python Patrol Vipers and Bats are everywhere. Outbacks are everywhere. People are finding Bazooka everywhere. Rakondo should be everywhere. I don't have Bazooka yet. My buddy's got him for me. Anyway. 
9 out of 10. Seems definitely worth picking up. Even if you have no connection to the figure, like to the character, like me, you'll still enjoy it. He's a great figure. I've been, it's been taking me two days to do this review because I just keep fiddling with him. And posing him back and forth and all kinds of stuff. So, as I said, 9 out of 10. Definitely. And if you like this video, if you like Rikondo, if you like Jejo Classified, give me a thumbs up down below. Like, share, subscribe, whack that bell for notifications, and just remember to keep it in those toy aisles. I'll see you guys next time. Later.